Thank you. God bless you. I am Bishop Peter Gatimo Dongo, and Christ is Lord. Uh, the Lord called me into his ministry to serve him back in 1981. That's when I experienced the confirmation and a clear direction of God's calling. And uh, at such a time, that's when the Lord led me to Apostolic Faith Church when I was living and serving God in Moranga District, Mla County in Kenya. And when I came to the church, the Lord commanded that join this church. You will be a servant in this church and you will lead this church. Clear, distinct voices. You will serve in this church and you will lead in this church. And I started in a very vibrant way. I found a small church back at home. I just relocated not by my own direction, but by the command of the Holy Ghost from Presbyterian to Apostolic Faith. And the Holy Spirit was upon my life and I started serving God. And I would just bring people every Sunday to the church, new converts, new disciples. And the church was full. And I grew up, grew up. And in the year 20, in the year 1982, the Lord now appeared to me to confirm the faces, the levels of his calling uh, in my life. And one of the things that God brought to my life is a big, big church in an urban center that will be able to reach out to so many places, so many places with programs of revival, gifts of the Holy Spirit, discipleship, showship uh, programs, uh, evangelism, TV station, a place with the impact. And I've stayed on, stayed on, and that's when now I could see a big church, big church, more than 10,000 people, and I was preaching, preaching, preaching. And when I started serving God, I didn't know when this one will happen. But gradually, as I started for the small beginning, with a lot of, uh, uh, I had to persevere a lot because initially I was a teacher. I resigned from teaching because of God's calling. I didn't have to join a church with salary. I came out to the street of Nairobi. I remember the first time I preached, I had only five people whom after preaching, they walked away. I didn't know what to eat. I didn't know where to stay. I could walk and walk. I did not have anybody. I didn't borrow food. I didn't borrow any transport because deep in my heart, I had a calling. I had a vision. And God appeared to me and confirmed, if I trust him, I will live. And I have my, God will supply to my needs according to his grace and his riches. And uh, when I grew up and grew up, and I remember later Nairobi to, be, to have three churches, four churches, more churches. And uh, the church grew and grew until we relocated to Bahati, where we are now. In Bahati currently, we have a church with four big services every Sunday, an elaborate program of evangelism, discipleship, and development. And about 16 years ago, or maybe 15 years ago, I started now seeing the reality of 10,000 Sita Church. And I'll put it in our calendar that this is my vision. 10,000 seater church in the city of Nairobi, in a prime area. I would put it every time. I tried to share that with the bishop's council because gradually I became now the bishop of the whole church in Kenya with about 500 branches, majority of which I participated in planting. And um, I would share with the bishop, and I tell you, it was hard to convince them. Members 
accepted it, but they didn't know how can it happen. And, um, and I remember I would talk about three acres of land in the city, prime, near CBD. One acre, I'll put up a big church. One acre, it will be parking. And one acre, it will be an office complex, a station, a center of a function. I tried to reach out. And one day, when I was in the bank, equity bank, and the manager heard that I was struggling to get the lad, she was a lady said, Bishop, don't you know a friend of your family is disposing her lad? Which lad? He shared with me about the double M. Double M has been the leading transport, public transport company in the city with a big center. And I think that the, the center, the owner of the property, was aiming at taking over as the key transport company in the city. And the owner was disposing the prime part of the property. I said, the manager, take me there. And we found the owner. And actually, I said, Bishop, I'm selling it. And it comprised of a big, huge, well-built building. A big hall, 350 feet length and about 120 feet width. I said, this is what God showed me. The other side is complex, a big office, very modern. Oh, I went to so I said, this is what we, we, we need. And outside now the hall, the, the building, the 10 capacity, 10,000 capacity church building is a, a piece of land that would be used for parking. The owner is, is about five acres, but the prime part is two and a half acres that carries all what I'm talking about. And we, it is located in Nairobi. If you take Kagudo Road, it's the main highway to the east of the city, the main highway. If you take Kagudo Road, about a kilometer or two kilometers as you drive through down to Kagudo Road in a very prime part of the city of Nairobi, highly populated, fast growing part of Nairobi. That's where it is. It's opposite Comorock, Comorock Junction. That's where it is. It's known. That's where the property is. And I've already shared the size. It is ready for use. We have the offices, we have the parking. And the church now in Bahati, I shared with them. And uh, when I shared with them, because it's my local church, majority accepted the vision. And as we worked with the owner, the owner agreed to sell that property. She was to sell it at 600 million Kenya shillings, which was about maybe 6 million US dollars that time. And by God's intervention, God's intervention, she reduced the price to 340 million Kenya shillings, which of course is around 3 million US dollars. When that was agreed, we went to the equity bank and by God's intervention, we were able, we issued that loan, 340 million, and now we have embarked on clearing the loan. We've had meetings in that place. The owner allowed us to be meeting there, where we come. You know in Kenya for the last three years, when we are pursuing this vision, the, 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 there was drought, there was, uh, the economy has been quite low, but I thank God that he gave me enough faith to motivate people like Nehemiah that we can make it. I caught people, laid hands on them, said, I want you to become what God has showed me. You are turning around to be millionaires of the kingdom for this project. And many people agreed from apostolic faith, from outside apostolic faith, and our friends Abroad, like in uh, Lakewood, Seattle, America, 
people like Bishop Shoga, the wife, the church, and the community, leaders, Beloved Harrison, and all these friends started joining us. And so far, we've contributed allowed 130 million Kenya challenge. You know, you know the bank, uh, when you give money, they first of all take their part, the interest. So we've not paid much of the loan. So what we decide to do now is we combine efforts. We are kingdom people. We believe in God's level of power and faith. We believe in God, in his ability to do things, even when circumstances are not conducive. We believe the vision of God can be affected and can become real, accomplished by God's strength. God can just give us money because we are connected to his purpose. I know very well, many people who got connected to God's purpose, they became rich because of that purpose. Nehemiah got access to the treasure of the king because he was connected with the burden to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. This window in Salafath. In the days of Elijah, she had a little flour and little oil, and she said, we are preparing the last meal. I and my son, we eat and die. But when she was connected with the purpose of God, when a prophet Elijah came around, prophet said, please, first of all, prepare for me. God said, for the time there will be drought, the container, even the bottle of oil will never dry out. We believe that anybody that will be connected to this project because of that purpose, even if the economy, whatever status and whatever issues they are reporting, God will appoint you as a kingdom partner. You are becoming a partner with God now. And in Jesus' name, and by the anointing that God gave me, I release the strength. I release the connection. I release the power to discover this favor. I release on you the mighty hand of God to rest upon you, appoint you. And I pray to the God, God who called me to prove that this work is really his work. And now by the grace of God, we have the account, then uh, the numbers of the account in the equity bank. We have it. You'll be able to read it on the screen. We have the contact numbers. You even have my number. I would like to just to know you did something. Did something. I'll be praying for you because I spent a lot of time, days, days praying and fasting for the partners who have joined me, joined us in this kingdom vision. So the Lord bless you so much. In Jesus' name, welcome, become, discover, li 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 receive a renewal. Be blessed in God's way of blessing. May God bless you as he said, and the blessings will Come after you and overtake you. Instead of struggle, let blessing run after you and overtake you from now because of this project. It's really a kingdom project. Very soon, we are trusting God. We are saying like now in Kenya, if we get 2,000 people, each to give 50,000, that is 100 million. We just drop it in the account and now the principal amount reduces. Whatever you are in America, team up, give a lot of money. Let's put it there so that next year we are clear and we invite all of you for a grand ceremony of dedicating this premises to the living God and to the revival. Welcome to 10,000 Sita Project. We are spending that place. We will be having three services. 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 
mighty harvest, prime property, great church, voice to the whole world, and the blood of Christ will prevail. The Holy Spirit will confirm the word for the glory of God. We thank God for all people so far who have joined 10,000 Sita Church Project as partners in whichever level. May the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, and the Lord confirm his anointing and favor in your life. God bless you. We are looking forward. I know our brothers and sisters in Sharo, America, you are planning to meet in November. Uh, I had a summer in 16th, 17th, that weekend, and I'm looking forward to meeting with you there. I trust God, God, you give me strength and cause me, I'll just be with you, to pray with you, to this blessing on you. Those who are in Kenya, we are meeting on 10th November at Kagudo Road, 10,000 seater, Comer of Jackson opposite. And all those two meetings, the 10th, uh, the 10th November 2024 in Nairobi, and the following weekend in Lakewood, America, we are believing God. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I raise my hands under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And I pray to you, Lord, that whoever is watching will discover now the great calling to become a partner with you, kingdom partner in 10,000 Sita Church, Kagudo Road, Nairobi, where, Lord, we want to raise millions and clear everything so that you be glorified very soon as that altar is dedicated to you for the glory of your name and for the great latter revival. Lord, bless these people. Bless these people. I rebuke Satan. I rebuke powers of darkness. I destroy limitations and declare breakthrough after breakthrough by the blood of Christ in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.